In December 1973, Variety magazine published a review of the latest film by Baltimore native John Waters. It only lasted three paragraphs, calling it one of the most vile, stupid, and repulsive films ever made. The work in question was Pink Flamingos, and such polarizing responses as this have followed it for its entire life. A 90-minute celebration of individuality that was primed to become a cult favorite from the moment it was conceived, Pink Flamingos is now heralded as a work of art. Despite the fact that Roger Ebert thought so poorly of it that he refused to award it a star rating before stating that it wasn't worthy of even being called a movie. The story follows the salacious exploits of drag queen Babs Divine Johnson, a criminal living in the outskirts of Maryland and her equally bizarre family. One day they learn that Divine has been named the filthiest person alive by the press, although celebrations are cut short by rivals Connie and Raymond Marble, who are keen to inherit the title for themselves. Thus, the stage is set for the most vulgar 90 minutes you'll ever see in a wide release. Pink Flamingos is repugnant, but purposefully so. Like its protagonist, this is a film that exists on the fringes, mocking conventional society and traditional values with a transgressive take on culture, sexuality, and gender. So it's easy to understand why people such as Roger Ebert weren't exactly big fans. Ebert may have actually loathed Pink Flamingos, but he didn't loathe John Waters. The critic actually gave his iconic thumbs up to later Waters films like Hairspray and Crybaby, both of which saw the director making a successful transition to mainstream cinema with only minimal adjustments to his trademark style. Now, Pink Flamingos would never have been Ebert's choice for, you know, a good movie, especially since he didn't even really consider it a movie, but that's fine. No critic should like everything. Ebert standing by his opinion so steadfast, despite the fact that Pink Flamingos was very quickly becoming a beloved film, is why he's still one of the best.